What's going on everybody? We're out here today at Southern Heritage Cemetery in Pelham, Alabama, which is located in Shelby County. We're gonna to try to find the grave of somebody that's important, not only to the state of Alabama, the University of Alabama, but to the Green Bay Packers. And as a Packers fan, he meant a lot to the organization. So I hope you enjoy a little tour of the cemetery as we go try to track his final resting place down. Born and raised in Montgomery, Alabama, Starr attended Sydney Lanier High School and tried out for the football team in his sophomore year, but decided to quit after two weeks. His father gave him an ultimatum. Either you play football or you gotta work in the family garden for the rest of the summer. Star being the smart man that he was and still, you know, decided to play football, which you can't blame the guy. In his junior year, the starting quarterback broke his leg and Star became the starter. He led Lanier to an undefeated season and in his senior year, he was named All-State and All-American and received college scholarship offers from universities across the country. He seriously considered the University of Kentucky, who at the time was coached by Paul Bear Bryant, who, has, who hadn't came home that mama told him to do. It's a beautiful cemetery. But the lady that he was in love with, Miss Louise, was planning to go to Auburn. And so, like a lot of young men and older men to boot, he decided he wanted to stay next to the love of his life so he committed to the University of Alabama. Walking around this side. We'll take a walk through this part. So, star being in Alabama, he didn't play much his freshman year. He played a little bit in the Orange Bowl. Going into his sophomore season, he was the starting quarterback, safety, and punter at the University of Alabama. Having an average punt of over 41 yards, which got him second highest in the nation at the time. The record that year was on par. It was average. I think it was six and two and three or something like that. Uh, they did lose to Rice in the Cotton Bowl. Having a back injury, Starr barely played his senior year. And so when he decided to play in the blue and gray game, Bear Bryant being the head coach at the time was a little salty that he didn't go to Kentucky. So he barely played Starr, if at all, in that game, which luckily for Starr, didn't hurt his draft performance. The Packers were convinced that Starr had the ability to succeed. And in the 17th round, yeah, they had a lot of rounds back then. The 17th round in 1956, Starr was selected by the Packers with the 200th overall pick. They didn't have as many teams back then either really nice place. 
quiet, it's peaceful. I like it. There's another guy out here too we're gonna go visit another day. That's very instrumental. It looks like they're having a funeral out here today. So we're gonna keep quiet and not bother anybody. After getting drafted by the Packers, Star was a backup, as it happens. And in Vince Lombardi's first year as coach, Lombardi pulled the starter in in favor of Star, and he held the starting job henceforth. The following season, the Packers advanced to the 1960 NFL Championship, but lost to the Eagles, which is Lombardi's only postseason loss as a head coach. And there it is. In 1966, Starr arguably had the best season of his career, throwing for over 2,000 yards, 14 touchdowns, and only three interceptions. He led the NFL with a completion, completion percentage of over 60%. Starr would be named the most valuable player by the AP, the Sporting News, the Newspaper Enterprise, and the UPI. In the championship game against Dallas, Starr had his best postseason performance, throwing for over 300 yards and four touchdowns, leading the Packers to victory in the first ever Super Bowl against the AFL champion Kansas City Chiefs. I'm glad we got to come out here today. I was worried it was gonna rain, and it looks like it held off long enough where we were able to get this video in today. You know, Star was voted to the Pro Bowl four times. Most valuable player in 66, chosen as the Super Bowl MVP of both Super Bowl one and two. And he was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1977. What an amazing career he had. The lady that he decided to go to Alabama for to stay close to, they ended up getting married, having kids, and doing all the right things that everybody should do. He was a really good guy. And it's a beautiful little cemetery out here. So, and if you like the videos that we're doing don't forget to subscribe and like and share and do all those things because if you enjoy what we're doing let somebody know share it the more people that can get on board and enjoy what we do the better so until the next one I hope you enjoyed this little tour and a visit that we had with Mr. Star today. See you guys on the next one.